In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at creating easy beveled stone effects in Corel Draw. And we're not going to be working with the bevel docker here that's in Draw, which is an interactive or automated tool. The reason being is sometimes it really doesn't produce the type of look that we want. I want to get a very realistic or photographic look, and to do that, I'm really going to have to work with Photo Paint and Corel Draw together. But this is really easy to do, and we can see the difference between the text design here, the Unsane Live Faster, and then when we've taken it and added the effect to it, we can see that the text and the design of the text actually pops quite a bit more because we've added depth through the bevel and then the stone type effect. Now to do this is really easy. I've got a simple graphic that I set up here as text. I just use the envelope tool to arch the unsane text, and then I put live faster beneath that. Now to go ahead and set up this effect, I want to have this filled with black once I've completed the text. Then I'll come over here to the interactive tools and I'll go to the contour tool. Go ahead and select that and from here I'm just going to bring this out and start going to the inside of my design. We'll just let that process one. And you can see right here what we've done is we've set this up as 0 0.1, 118 steps. Now I can bring this down more with the effect, but you notice that my highlight is white. Now I'm going to go ahead and select this as a two center. Change that. Now you can see I got 118 steps here in my contour. Now normally this might be set to default and Corel is one. I'll go ahead and hit that and you'll see what that produces. But to increase your steps, all you need to do is left click, hold down here, and pull that up. And you'll have multiple objects going into the inside. And there's 70. You can see that's not quite all the way. I'll bring this up. And then the maximum I'll get here, I believe, will be about 138, maybe less. Let that process actually 118. Now you notice here that we've got a fill set up here and I can actually change this fill color to see a yellow if I want and get a different look on the white. But I'll hit Control Z and we'll go back to white there. I just wanted to show you that there. Now that I've set up this contour, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to bitmaps, convert to bitmap, transparent background, anti-aliasing on, 300 dpa RGB and select OK. Now with that done, we can take a look at the kind of, I guess you could say, kind of plastic type of bevel effect that we built with the contour tool. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit bitmap and open this up in Corel Photo Paint. Once my image is opened up in Corel Photo Paint, I'm going to go ahead and grab this here and just maximize this. I'm going to go to the effect menu and I'm going to come down to texture and I'm going to select plastic and you're going to see what happens here. Instantaneously I get a really nice bevel effect as you can see there. Now you can also adjust this. I can change the direction of the light here and dial that down if I want to have the light coming off the top. And you can see that that moved that there. I can change the smoothness of how I want the bevel to be applied. Now you'll notice as it gets smoother, it looks more and more like plastic. Now for a stone beveled effect, I'm going to go with something nice and sharp, so I'm not going to have any smoothness. I can also change the depth and the highlight, as you can see here. You can also change the color. Let's say I change that to a yellow instead of a white. So you could make a red to white if you used a red fill. When you did the contour tool, then brought that in and used yellow, you could have like a flame beveled look on your text. I'll go ahead and select OK here at this point with the way this is set up. Next thing I'll do is I'll come over here to this object and I'll go ahead and right click on that from the object docker and I'll select duplicate selected. And from Duplicate Select, I'm going to go over here to my Effects, and I'm going to go to Distort, and I'm going to come here to Blocks. And I'm going to set that up. Now you can see that that's kind of roughing that out, breaking it apart, which is going to be the foundation for our stone effect on top of our beveled effect. You can see that you can change how these blocks are set up by size, block width, block height, and also change the offset between the blocks. Go ahead and bring this right out to 10 also. Make sure that's at 10. I can actually key that in just so that it's the same. And I can see that effect. Now I'll change my offset here just a little bit more and select OK. Next thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll go to Effects and Blur. I want to smooth that out just a little bit. So I'm going to go to Gaussian Blur, working in Photo Paint. One will be fine and select OK. Next thing I'll do is I'll hold Shift with both objects selected in the Docker. Right click here and go to Combine and select Combine Objects Together. Then what I'll do is I'll go again to Effects and Texture and I'll come down here to Plastic and you can see my stone effect and I'll smooth that out just a little bit. 
select OK, and that's fine. Now, some of this has a little bit of a hard edge on it, but you can fi fix that very simply by going to Effects and then to Blur again, and then selecting Gaussian Blur and soften that out just a little bit. You might want to go a little bit less than one pixel here, just enough to smooth that out and select OK. And we'll just go ahead and click on Save here, and that'll save that back into Corel Draw. I'll go ahead and close Photo Paint. You can see our effect here. Now, what I'm going to do with this, because I want to get back to the vectors, I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this over here, and I'll just go ahead and copy this. And then I'll just hit Control Z until I get back to my vector. I didn't really need to duplicate that. I want to get back to before I put on the contour effect with my actual text. Go ahead and paste that back in. And then I'll go ahead and left click and drag this on top of my graphic here and just release and select Power Clip inside. And I'll come over here from the bottom. And I'm working in Corel Draw X6. You won't see this next 5 or X4. Center Contents. And there's my beveled text effect. Now, if I want to, I can edit this further directly in Corel Draw to adjust how it looks. And I'll take this and I'll just go ahead and go Bitmaps, Convert to Bitmap again. Transparent Background, select OK. I can go to Effects, Adjust, and Tone Curve. Set this to straight, and I can lighten this up if I want to give it a lighter look. Pull up that way, and you can see I'll be able to edit how the intensity of the dark or the bevel is being displayed through the pixels. And I could lighten this up here and bring that highlight up quite a bit, and then dial it into just how I want it to look. Now I could go further and power clip it back inside the vector, put an outline around it, and using the design, etc. But creating a very realistic beveled stone effect in Corel Draw working with Photo Paint at the same time is very easy to do. And now you can add this to your design assets or your arsenal for creating designs when you're working with customers. And this can also be a great tool for upselling. You know, you can start with the vector with which it, what the client wanted, and then add some effects to it and say, you know, this is what you asked for, but we add some of these cool effects to it. What do you think? Which one do you like better? And then if the client says, well, obviously, I like the one with the chiseled effect. But then you can say, well, we can set that up for you. It might take an extra color. Maybe you can add the red and the yellow together and upsell the client and say, well, it costs another $1.50 a shirt, but we can set that up for you. The client's thinking $1.50 a shirt, but if the order is 100 shirts, that's another $150 in your pocket. It only took you a few minutes to set up the effect and do the upselling or add these type of effects to your design. So we'll go ahead and wrap here, and we'll see you in our next tutorial.